Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to create and run your first GitLab CI/CD pipeline. So let's start. So in this video we will cover some topics like how to create and run your first GitLab CI/CD pipeline. In that you can see check available runner, create the ML file, check status of your pipeline and jobs, edit the ML file and delete the ML file. Okay, so let's start with what is CI/CD pipeline. So CI/CD pipeline is a sequence of steps that smooth the software delivery process. Through a DevOps, CI/CD enhance application development using monitoring and automation. A CI/CD pipeline is particularly useful when it comes to integration and continuous testing which are typically difficult to perform, time consuming, and require the creation of stuffs and drivers. What is meant as stuffs and drivers? Stuffs means we have a uh, sub number of sub models, but we don't have the main model. That time we cannot uh, test the software or application. That time you have to using HTML code, code, using the HTML code, we can create a main model. It means a stuff. What is meant by driver? Driver means uh, we have a uh, main model, but we don't have this sub model. That time you can use the HTML code and make a make a, a sub model. Okay, means a driver. Each and every steps of CI/CD pipeline is subset of task group into pipeline stage. So in that uh, GitLab CI CD is a part of that GitLab account, okay? So that's uh, you use for all the continuous methods like a continuous integration, continuous delivery, continuous deployment like that. So with this, you can build, test and publish means deployment your software or applications. GitLab pipeline execute number of jobs or several jobs we can uh, execute here and step by step with the help of automated code okay so see the prerequisite for that run your pipeline you have project in your gitlab csd okay so see the steps for the creator git uh, create and run your first gitlab pipeline so first step to check available runner in gitlab so we can check the available runner in that GitLab account. Firstly, you have to sign in the GitLab account and go inside that project which you want to run the pipeline. Okay. So this is a GitLab CI CD. I have already created a project. Go inside that. And you have to check firstly your runner are available or not. Okay, runners are all available or not. So here in that left side bar, here settings. In that settings, you have to go inside that CI/CD. After that, here runner present. We have to expand here and see here project runners, share runners like that. So by default, we have we have the share runners and it's uh, in green circle. Okay. It's green color in circle. So it's a active runner. Okay. It's a active runner or online runner. Okay. And this is a offline runner. Okay. So any uh, here number of uh, share runner by default we have uh, available. Uh, so from this we can uh, mean by default uh, this runner it's used. Okay. So see here. So in that, this is this one is optional step. If you don't use this GitLab account, firstly we have to use the share runner and you have to create the runner. So if you don't have a share runner, uh, it's in uh, online. Then you have to firstly you have to create a project runner. Okay. So this this project runner, I have made a video. Made a video. Uh, it's in our channel. Firstly you can see this. If you don't have the run active runner or online runner okay so it's an optional step if you have share runner by default then keep that 
then we can check the available runner okay so minimum one runner it's uh, active we have active here so we have number of runner active here okay after that second step is to create gitlab ci yaml file so first we have to go inside that project this one is our specific project for that we have to create a yaml file for that we have to go code in that code repository click on this and don't save here after that you have to select the branch okay select the branch from here here number of branch like main master like branch so i will give default branch as a main and after that in that cicd pipeline in that project i have to make a file here i want to make file click on this new file So give here file name like uh, GitLab CI YAML. Okay. After that, see here you have to create YAML file in your repository. Okay. In my the, this particular project in that repository. So YAML file where you specify instruction for the GitLab means uh, we can specify the instruction. For that GitLab CI CD. Okay. Means what uh, means what we have to do. So in this YAML file, you can define the structure and order of the job. Okay. Means like uh, build, test, and deploy or production, like that. These jobs we have to mention here. That runner should execute. And after that, we can commit, click on this uh, commit, then runner should execute. The decision the runner should make when specific conditions are encountered. Okay. So, uh, what is the purpose of the YAML file? So, see here, YAML file where you specific instruction we have to given in that code uh, for the GitLab CICD. When you commit the file, you your repository, then runner runs your job the job result are displayed in the pipeline so we can see so here he, this this step we were perform and see here this one is the yaml file code let me copy this code and i will explain this code. okay so copy and paste in this window paste here okay now see you can see uh, like a uh, different jobs okay this stage build my first job build, uh, test my uh, first job deploy first job these are the jobs different jobs so firstly we have to mention the stages okay mention this stage in that stages we have uh, performed three stage which stage build test deploy we can perform production like that different we can uh, uh, mention the stage here after that you have to uh, give the name for that job okay so simply i given it's not need to here use build i simply i use here build my first job you can uh, you can uh, here type here as your requirement for that job name okay after that select the stage stage it's a build stage first stage is a build stage okay after that uh, mention a script and in that script i simply mention the echo uh, like uh, this is first build job okay and here next job is test my first job in that uh, job here stage stage mention here this one stage okay this test mention as a test stage okay so here we don't have the code for that uh, testing the job that's why here i simply explain the how how to write this yaml files okay so using this script in that uh, i mentioned echo like uh, this is my first job if uh, if we have a code then we can add a here condition okay after that next job is deploying first job okay so stage mention as a deploy and mention script 
in that script we used echo as a this is deployed first job okay so this is a yaml file our yaml file so simply click on this commit changes after that we get the message here like a file has been successfully created okay so after that this these steps we were performed okay so next step is to check the status of your pipeline on jobs so first we have to go inside that project in that project in the left side bar here build in that build go in that pipelines okay so see here this is these stages are running okay in progress so go inside that status running you can see the these three jobs build test and deploy so first job is passed okay first job is passed go inside that so see here by default runner gives uh, this runner selected and uh, docker machine executor uh, it's a executor it's a docker machine and see here our job succeeded okay and we put here in the build uh, we put here echo as a this is first build job okay and it's a short uh, short detail in short details for that uh, build okay build job so see here duration takes it's 27 seconds finish in one minute ago like that okay and this one is runner after that go back here and see here this is a running job in in, in progress okay uh, some um, after a uh, few seconds it's a see here it's a past okay so now uh, after the build you can see the test click on this test my first job these are the stages okay same as it's runner use and exit a docker machine like a create fresh repository and it's a eco test job and it's job succeeded okay go back again and we will see next job as a deployment click on this deploy first job and same as it's a job succeeded okay and it's a short details for that regarding jobs so see here uh, these are the stage mentioned in our yaml file and these are the mentioned jobs sorry These are the mentioned job names. Okay. These are the mentioned job names. And uh, you can give inside that. You can check the pipeline. Okay. After that job here, simply status, we, you can see it. Okay. And the stage, name, duration, like that. After that, you have to go project view or view. This step we were performed, and now you have to uh, important if you have to edit your YAML file. So for that you have to go inside that project and go to YAML file, and simply here edit button here, and click on this edit in pipeline editor. Click on this. Your CI configuration was not loaded. We gave us messages like that. And please try again. Okay. 
So see here, uh, if we are go inside that pipeline editor and this uh, where uh, this YAML file here, we get here and you can simply edit the YAML file from here, okay? So here CSF uh, was not loaded uh, now, that's why. I, I don't you explain proper now here, but you can uh, write the this code or edit the code in your YAML file. Okay. After that, if you have to delete this YAML file, so next step is see here, how to delete your YAML file. If you have to delete the YAML file, go inside that. And after that, simply you can uh, here delete button present, okay, and uh, delete the files from here, okay. So in this way, you can delete the file, and you get the message like a uh, you are uh, this YAML file is being deleted, okay. So in this way, we were learn how to create and run your first GitLab pipeline, check available runner, create YAML file, and you can check the pipeline, uh, check your pipeline and jobs, and uh, YAML edit, how to edit YAML file, and how to delete the YAML file, okay? So thank you for the watching video.